Good Monday morning. We are headed to the Deseret Industries thrift store in Saratoga Springs, Utah. Uh, we're looking for fun summer decor that we can put in our shop and sell online. What are you looking for today, Zeb? Well, let's be honest. I'm always out hunting for decor to fill the shop up, but at the end of the day, if I find like a random tool or something that I need around the house, I will go ahead and snag that because I'm going to find it way cheaper at the thrift store than I will anywhere else. Yeah, we're always looking to be bougie on a budget. I, I am looking for a piece of furniture if we find it because we have sold a few pieces, so we'll see if there's anything good. Um, and let's let's go inside and see what they got. There they put the carts out for you. Ebbs off. Let's go see the dishes. I really need to find some chip dishes for my project. I know I have some at the shop, but I don't want to cannibalize those. So I'm looking for some chipped china that I can turn into jewelry. And the last few weeks I've been looking and have not found anything. This store doesn't usually have particularly old china, so I'm not holding my breath. There's a lot more young people that live out here. Although I do love these plates. They sell well for me. These are so cute. I sold them before. Little music boxes from M&S. That's cute. I love that bowl. $1.50. I don't know where it's from, but I'm definitely going to grab it. Headed to the yard. First thing is always... I don't know why I always have to start in the yard, but I do. See a couple things right away. These are always good. Five bucks. Uh, is it broken anywhere? Sometimes these are broken. You know, I gotta grab this rocking horse and make it over. So, this is a shelf with little picture frames in the hooks. I think someone added these corbels. It's only $4. I think I'll take those corbels off and use them on something else. Oh, it's like a workshop clock. Oh, $8. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it here for $8. It needs a paint job anyway. Repairs and restoration. Here's some more of those muffin tins. I don't know if the last one sold or not, but I'm gonna grab these. And what is this for $3? I'm snapping up festive craft paper rolls. I'm gonna grab it. I think for three bucks, it's probably a good deal. And people could use this for paper crafting or all kinds of things. We have a lot of creative people that follow us and I like the design. Oh, that's cute with the fleur-de-lis on top. It's a set of three, it's got the base. I'm gonna grab it. It's marked at $2. I don't know if that's for each piece or the whole set, but I think that's a really good deal. I know somebody is specifically looking for a navy blue bunt pan. But I'm gonna go ahead and buy this red one because it's really cute. I like the fluted design on the edge. It's only $1.50. Oh, is this on a big candlestick down here? That's kind of cool. It's tin. This is, oh, I love this one. How much? Two, two bucks. Always have to check the frames out just in case there's something amazing in here. I'm always hoping to find like an old plaster gold frame, but those go pretty quick. I don't find them often. So I really like this little frame here. Two dollars. Some art in there. It's like a three by five looks like. This is a first thing in the morning cart. I bet you Jamie passed on these. Three three dollars each. They're like vases. They look like candlesticks. They're different colors. Let's see if this one's three bucks as well. Yep. Three dollars on each of those. All right, Seb's already been in the back. So I probably won't find anything, but I'm gonna look just in case because sometimes we see things differently or something pops out at me that didn't pop out at him. I actually missed this the first time I was here. It's like a cast iron fleur de -lis, three bucks. Always sells well for us, any kind of finials like this. All right, so I have a squat down here. Oh, I thought I wanted this until I realized it said Premier Advisor Program. However, 
Well, down here, I'm going to pick up these three glasses. People ask us why we buy these all the time. These are just our matching set that we have at the house. Um, and we can pick them up for a dollar. We do. And we do occasionally break them. We have children that do dishes. So I just grab them when I see them. And they're nice, heavy acre hockey glasses. So this is teak for a dollar. Just a little carved bowl, turned bowl. I think it would be really fun to just paint like the bottom under this line a fun color. Maybe even like a Pacific or something, like give it a navy look and leave the rest wood. All right, three dollars on this. It's got a hook. It needs a paint job, but I always base my purchase on this on how hard it is going to be to get the mirror out. And this is four screws, so that's easy. Someone's painted this, but it's metal. I think it needs a little makeover. I'm not sure on price. I don't see one. Oh, there it is. Three bucks. Ah, that's a lot for that. All right, so how much do we say? We, we have one full cart and we spent... $58. $58. I feel like that's a pretty good yeah. pretty good uh, price today. I, there were a few things that I thought were overpriced that I put back. Not yeah, crazy. that clock. That little clock was $8. I was like, ah, oh, I would have got it for five. And some old muffins. Those old muffin tins were $2 each. And while that's not a horrible price, I sell them for like eight bucks for both of them. So it's not enough of a profit margin for thrifting for me. So I put them back. Cause you make money when you buy. If you buy too high, then if you have to sit on something too long or lower the price, there's not enough profit margin. Also, it's, if it's expensive or more than I want to pay and I got to make it over, I also pass on yeah, it. Yeah, especially if it's broken. Like if it's broken, not a lot of people are going to buy it anyways. That's really interesting. Did you tell them what you're going to do to that? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to put a little art in there, take these off. It'll be good. We have plenty of room in the back, so we're headed to another thrift store. We're going to the Riverton Deseret Industries. I'm hopeful that maybe there'll be some china here. They recently cleaned out their china section, um, and so they haven't had as much, but I'm still looking for broken china, so we'll see what they have. Um, we didn't find any summer-specific stuff at the last thrift store, so we're also going to be looking for that. Got to get that sunflower art going. Sunflowers, 4th of July, outdoorsy type stuff, you know. Definitely more people shopping here, so we'll see what we can find. But this store does continue to put out um, items, so maybe there'll be something new put out. Them's beating me out. Are you going to the yard first, or should we? Let's should switch we? It up. Okay, I'll go to the yard. You I'm go. I'm gonna go look for plates. All right, thanks. All right, so I'm getting first dibs on the yard. Before Zeb gets out there, so hopefully there's actually something good to be found. Oh, I do like this brass lamp for ten dollars. Oh, it's chipping off. That big old fat lamp is still here from last week, but that's thirty dollars. This art is still here from last week. Oh, I like this frame. It's oval. Which is it? $10. I think that's a good price. Wow, if you needed a bunch of leather chairs, those are really cool. And they're only $8 a piece. That's a smoking deal. There's another $10 mirror, and it's not so big that we can't ship it. All right, since we've switched it up a little bit, no, no pressure to find all the good plates Jamie always spots. I have a pretty good idea of what to look for. I see a lot of plates I like, but nothing specifically what she wants for the project we have. Although there's a bunch of these. These are kind of fun. Oh, someone's poked a hole in that one. I drilled it. Those are Mikasa plates. So I like the cobalt blue on these. There's four of them. These are, they say Homer Laughlin Fiesta. Made in the USA. I'm gonna get them for 75 cents each. I'm finding enough candlesticks this morning for cheap. I might just do like a whole collection, all the same color and stage them up in the shop. I really like this. I think it could be used for 
maybe displaying postcards or something. We have all those postcards in the shop. I'm gonna get it. All right, we're at the clocks. Usually Zeb comes here before me and I think Zeb would definitely pick this up for $4. So I'm gonna grab it. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Well, that's kind of fun. I'm going to grab this and just see what Jamie says. It's a really big picture. It does have a couple little flea bites in it, but it's only three bucks. I know it's got grapes on it, but we'll see. If she sees it in my cart and she's like, oh, then, uh, then we'll know. I really like this little galvanized bucket with the brass handles. It's like heart shaped on the brass fasteners there, but when it's up, it just looks cool. It means a little... It's bent back into shape, but it's only a dollar. So apparently these are some fancy strudels. I love the tin. It's got a little couple scratches on it, but I think it's still fun. For two bucks. What are you already doing back inside? Did you, oh, have you not been down this aisle? No, I haven't yet. I was thinking you had it because I found some stuff and I was like, can't believe you left that behind. Look. That one's cool. Oh, that's a fun sailboat on that. Yeah, no, I haven't been down that's here. This California. was next. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah, what's actually, what's that what's that warmer right there? That one, it's aluminum. I don't know, it's not my favorite. You can get it if you want it though. You know I like it. We it's, did sell the server we bought last week. Should I get this one that says New York City? Oh, it's pressed. Oh yeah. Might as well. There is an aluminum platter. This is only $3. I'm getting it. All right, well, if you're getting that, then we also have to get this. Okay. Yeah, those $3. are... I've got stuff like this in the past. They're, they go good. They go good. All right, look at this. I don't know. It has a little spout there. Like, is that a creamer if you just want a little bit of milk? I don't think so. I think it's a planter. Look how cute it is. All right, two stores in. And Jamie's going and picking up some silver. We've spent about $130 between the two stores now and the back's starting to get a little full. We're pulling up onto the Goodwill. Hopefully they have something good and they will. <laughs> <laughs> Zab laughed at my little Goodwill joke. I think sometimes I'm funnier than I actually am. This is really cute and it has the lid for it. $1.99, oh, that's, that's a good great. deal. You know, it's funny, Jamie had, I don't know if they were dolls like this. I know she had a ton of Barbies when we got married and she hauled those things around from house to house to house to house for a long time. The girls played with a few of them, but most of them stayed in the box. And I think I'm gonna leave these ones here. Well, I like this, let's see. Let's flip her upside down. Oh, it's plastic. I wanted it if it was plaster. No price on it. That's weird. Oh, it's like one of those Christmas tree ones. Now this is a barometer. I'm going to get it six bucks. I don't even know if I'm going to repaint it. Maybe do a wash. I'm going to guess that this was intended to be a utensil caddy, but for four dollars, does that unscrew? I might put something different like a knob or something on top but i like it all right so i found these two pictures last week we had some very similar handmade pottery this one has a chip so i think i'm gonna leave that one but this one is like really coastal and it's only 3.99 yeah. does that chip not count as a chip no it's a chip and for four dollars yeah i want it was like a dollar with a chip maybe. well and it's big so i'm just gonna go with this one this is what we call silver in the wilds. This is a lid, just a lid for $2.99. I think I'm gonna leave it here. So I like this basket. It's like a small wrought iron style. I don't think it's an egg basket because your eggs could potentially fall out of that section there, but for three bucks, I like the look of it. There is an Afghan in here, but I'm gonna leave this one here. So this is a fun Lazy Susan, all wood. Needs a sanding and an oiling, but spins good, the bearings are working. A whole set of Tupperware measuring cups. My mom had the green version of these when I was a kid growing up. We had them forever, I don't know what happened to them. She might still have them. That is a lot of cookie cutters for $3.99 and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six copper ones, I think. Five or six copper in there. So I don't think I'm going to grab that whole thing. All right, Zeb, what was our total at the Goodwill today? $58. $58. Notice how much less we got for $58 at the Goodwill. Definitely more expensive. So we're pretty particular about what we get. Last thrift store of the day. We're going to Deseret Industries in West Jordan to round out our thrifting day. I'm looking still for summer stuff. I have literally found nothing that they thought was specifically summer yet. I think sometimes you have to not have uh, like preconceived notions of what you're going to find. Or you find something and you make it summery. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll see. Shopping with us today. You haven't seen them, but are my cute sister Deborah and her husband Daryl. They've been our thrifting partners. They're in town for the week. Deborah, you want to wave for the camera? I filmed you guys. I was like, look who's shopping with us today. All right, let's see if they got any cute bunnies. I always love a good glitter bunny. Oh, there's two, a boy and a girl. They're $2 each. These would be cute next spring in the shop. All right, these are plastic, but they have little chickens on the top. They're so cute. Definitely need to be washed, but I can't leave these behind. That's a pretty little two-handed teacup. No marking, it's only a dollar fifty. I like the roses on it. Oh, maybe another big old candlestick from my candlestick series. Oh, it's heavy. Pottery barn. How much? No price. Not seeing a price. Is it under my hand? No price. All right, this big urn is $5. It's weighted. Someone's already put some cement in the bottom. It's plastic, but we can paint plastic. All the paints we use will cover on plastic. So this is what I'm talking about. $4 for this extendable pole. I'm going to keep this for myself. I have one like this, but now I have two. So if I ever paint the shop or do something that I need to reach up high, I've got two poles and I can get someone else to help me. All right, now that's a fun clock for $3, metal. What is this? Is this a colander clock? Oh, that's cool. I like this little one back here. We're just gonna grab all the $3 clocks, don't mind me. These are only a dollar each. They're from Japan. There's a creamer, which is really cute. The sugar dish is missing the lid, but that'd be so cute as a planter. That is such a cute egg basket. $3. Definitely coming home with me. And I like this little blue man, M-A-N-N -N picture from Japan. So this doesn't have a lid, but this is so cool. It's like an old salt jar. And I think it's cool enough I'm gonna buy it without a lid and somebody can put a plant in it. Looks like we bought them out of the brass lamps. They have one over there, but I don't love that, like the ones we found. This hey, you're not finding a whole lot either. Yeah, but we've already shopped a lot. This one is cool. That one is. Like the, Are those crystals on it? Yeah. And I think How much is that, eight? They were plastic. It looks like it's seven. Eight or seven. seven. What are you gonna go with? Seven just got knocked off, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Are, are, those, are they plastic or are they? Okay. Is it too? I think we need to sell some lamps before we buy more. All right. That's those aren't plastic. I think they are. Oh, maybe. Look at that. Here's another one. Hiding out. Two dollars. This one's wood. This is real copper or sprayed on copper. It's heavy. I think it's sprayed on. Someone unloaded an elephant collection. It's kind of fun. It has his leg broken off. There's another one down here. Can I leave the elephant cookie jar for two dollars? I don't think I can. Someone wanted us to keep an eye out for navy bunt pens. That one has no color. What's this back here, though? Wood, big wood candlestick. Four dollars. I don't love that one enough for four dollars. Here's another one. Man, I am gonna have to do a collection. This one's wood. Two dollars. 
The elephants are literally everywhere in the store. Someone must have had tonnage. Look at that one. It's like a wall sconce. And there's one over here. Look at this guy. It was gold once. I can't stop. I can't stop. I really love this tray with the twisted handles, but I don't love the carving on it that they did. I think that could sand out pretty easy. Get some 80 grit and just go. All right, what's the total on the day? We are at $250 on the day. All right. And I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, I feel good. If we can fill up the back of the car for $250, um, we'll take this all home, spread it all out so you can see what we got, and then make sure you guys follow along because we'll have another video up on Thursday going to the Goodwill bins. Thanks for coming along with us thrifting. We didn't find a ton of summer stuff like I had hoped, but we found a ton of home decor. And what's funny is I feel like every week there's a theme. This week there was a ton of blue, like lots of cobalt and turquoise and various items. Inevitably, I found things that need painted, so maybe I'll have to stick with the blue theme. I think blue is more of a fall color, but you know, we can work with that. It's fine. Summer is red, white, and blue. We found okay. a ton. <laughs> you gotta add the red and the white in though. We found a ton of stuff to flip for profit. We list everything Saturday night at 8.30. We'll drop the link below for our thrift and thrift flip collection. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Marie Vintage for more DIY. We'll see you on the next episode.